Right, guys, welcome back to um, Ark into the Woogles verse. Uh, we're still on Valguero. Uh, there's nothing new to report, really, from um, the island. So we're just uh, we're going to start here because you know we're we're heading towards the end game for Valguero, if you will. Um, this is stupid bastard. This is the uh, ice wyvern I hatched and didn't feed until she reached maturity. It wasn't out of cruelty, it was just, you know, trying to, like, spare resources. I don't really want the transmitters being full of wyvern milk and nameless venom if they don't have to be. Um, she's doing okay. She's, uh, I like the colour scheme on her. We, um, we started the, uh, Sparta and Eva bloodline. Try and get a better DMC kind of lineage. We have a, you can't really see it. We've got Virgil. He's there. Um, do we still have those saddles? Yep, yeah, so you can have that one. That's the Ankylo one. And that's a Deinonychus one. And we have another Dante. And a couple of girls and another boy. So I haven't changed the colours on them yet. But, you know, Virgil's old enough to start nobbing and create his own Nero. Um, these are really messy at the minute. But I need to let them get some points. And I'm going to have to put some into weight. We lost Chili Billy. He died. I There's Claudia, by the way. I put some points into his health. And... I tried to land him up here, but I was trying to land him to the side because I wanted to put Chilly Willy up here because we've got, I don't know if you noticed, but we've got Coldilocks back over here. And, you know, Chilly Billy, try to land him. He uh, fell off the edge here, which I found really odd because his fall damage shouldn't have been that severe. He didn't lose health. He just had the appearance of losing health. And then I had the idea of trying to land him up here on this arch, above the archway, and he fell off and died. So, that didn't go so well. We lost Chili Billy. Amelia seemed fine with it. She can take another one, because I've been, um, I was breeding Chili Billy, and Chili Willy, well not, but I was breeding them with Coldilocks and Elsa. Uh, you know, swapped them around a bit and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much all to report on. When I get back from our mission, because we are going trophy hunting, I'll see if I can move those about. Because they are kind of taking up. They're clipping into the ground again. Um, I don't think Verge... I'll need to put weight points in them to move them. Because if I... Unless... Right... Let's move you over here. And let's move Sparta over here as well. Uh, behavior. Enable following. And then copy settings to nearby Deinonychus. Come on. Right. And then we'll do the same with you. Enable following. Copy settings to nearby Deinonychus. Oh, come on, you three. This is getting even more fucking mental. Why aren't you following? 
fuck's sake. Oh god. Stop. Dante, Adolescent, Deinonychus, Virgil, Sparta, and Eva. Why is there only two there? Right, come on. They're stuck, they won't fucking move. Get down. Should be. There goes two. Oh my god. Right, Sparta. Or either, even. Now there should be. Six? Yeah, there's six, isn't there? Dante Virgil, where's the third son? Right, you're one of the daughters. You're one of the daughters. You're Virgil. I think it's the adolescent that's the third son. Yes, right, so everybody's fu everybody's there, present and accounted for. That was fucking... Right, you stop. Alice, what are you doing up here? Oh god, if Alice has fucking followed me up here, who else has fucking come? Alice, get downstairs! Right, Sarah, Witch and Cat, I think it's because Alice was over here. I think everybody else is fine. Stop. Everybody else is fine. So we now have 34 Deinonychus. But we've got a Virgil and Dante that are actually brothers, um, birthed by Eva and Sparta. So, yeah, that's good. Trophies! That's what we need to be doing next. Trophies. Um, I don't let's put it into melee damage Allosaurus brains Titanobo of Venom we need one more Titanobo of Venom we've got the Argy Claws we need Aloe brains T-Rex arms and Sarco skin so we're gonna just look around and see what we can find Try and avoid the redwoods. Uh, I don't like that. Because I don't want to get thylid again. A lot of redwoods. <laughs> Fuck. Right. And the giga hearts. We need giga hearts as well. Let's head this way. Let's see what we got here. I also want to try and find some more Ascendant Flak. Because I've got three pieces of Ascendant Flak. I need the chest and the gauntlets. For the final boss fight. I mean, I could craft basic bitch. Flak. 
but if I can get the ascendance, then why not? See what this yellow drop is. It's blueprints, I think. I think that's what the ring means. It's blueprints. Uh, how do I? Ascendant Dodicarus saddle, which, yeah, that's good because I was looking for a Dodicarus. That's a blueprint, though. Um, keep heading up this way. Above the trees. Let's fuck the Thylacolios. Check out this mountainous area here. So fucking tech quets again. Oh shit, get on. I can't use my fucking... Ugh. That isn't why we're here. You're not why we're here. There, Allosaurus. She collected them already. She might have already collected them. She has three Allosaurus brains. Good girl. That's a Carno, I think. We don't need anything from Carnos. We don't need alphas either, which is helpful. Uh, save the game. And it's 15 of each except for the Giga Hearts, I think that's two. Six aloe brains. All right, more mountains. What I need to be looking for. I don't think they're actually. Uh, I can imagine they're just like the barrier. I found that T Rex in the Aberration Trench. I do still want to tame a male if I can, just so I can breed him with a. Uh, da 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 da. Tia and Bapatista. That's the uh, edge of the world, I think. I mean, I've hit the fucking ceiling. Yeah. All right. So we can't go that way. Let's uh, head over there. Let's 
Six Allosaurus brains. We're doing good. We're making progress. I think I've got one back at home, so that makes us about halfway there. Still need to get that other Titanoboa Venom. Sarko skin, so we need to be uh, finding a swamp area. I want to check the mountainous areas for uh, Aloes, Rexes, Gigas, and all that shit. I guess. Head into that uh, middle section, the green, the Unicron area, I think I called it last time. Well, not last time, but the first time it was here. I know what I said, I'm just checking over here. the other side of that. That's fine. That's fine. Fucking place is big enough as it is. Yeah, we'll check the highlands. Oh, there's a purple down there. Is it dropped? No, it's coming down. Need a Dodicarus. Um, these terror birds. Yeah, fuck off. friends. I'm not doing this to hurt you. Level 90. I mean, I'm not really protective over a fucking bastard that stole my fucking berries. Right, you're running, you're running, you're running. Come on. Tits. Gotta, 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 gotta. Good, 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 good. Drop. Ascendant long neck. Ch 
sure. Um, save game. Right, I'm going to have to stay here with this uh, Dodicarus. Um, I've got a cryopod. Where's my fucking pega? Did it die? Nope, you're there. Right, on my shoulder. You're probably thinking that I'm being a bit too kind to the Pegamastax. I'm not. I have plans for the Pegamastax on Ragnarok. So I'm going to send both of them over there. If you know, you know. If you don't, you'll know. Let's just say they're going to help me in the living labyrinth. I mean, the fucking Dodicarus are no the noisiest eaters I've ever heard. But there's some, uh, I've got any Majos. Have the uh, blue ones as well. The Bassets, all sorts. Yep, I'm gonna um, end this part just for now until the Dodicarus is tamed, and then once she's tamed, he's tamed. We'll um, carry on. I got bored, so I built an house. Um, kind of went for like a Viking longhouse kind of thing. But again, still learning the ropes. I went for windows around the side. But I also wanted to go for the um, like the roof that came all the way down. Yeah, Obviously now you can't see out the windows unless you're looking at wood. And that's a bit janky. I'm not sure I like that. But... <sighs> Same that side. Um, like I said, I did it because I was bored. And, you know, I don't think I'll ever come back to this place. But it's 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 not a bad little... Um, I don't think I did bad. I probably wouldn't have done the um, A shape. I'd have just ended it there. But, you know, what's done is done. It's, it's, it's okay, I guess. Um... This is Steve Austin. He's going to collect my cold stone. Say hello, Steve. Or just eat his fucking dodix are like the noisiest eaters. And I think because they eat so regularly as well. Like it's every 30 points, I think. But we're going to cryo you up for now. We'll get you home safely. Grab the berries back. And we're going to keep looking. Hello. For our trophies Allosaurus brains, Giga hearts, Tyrannosaurus arms, Sarco skins, Titanobo of Venom. Oh, sun's a bit bright there. Blue drop. Let's see what's in there. No. So we don't need you, Tyrannus. Got all the Argy Claws we need. Were both of my Rexes imported, or did I, t I tamed one, didn't I, near the Green Obelisk? That's where I tamed Tia, and then I sent Bapatista over. So we'll maybe head towards the Green Obelisk when we're looking for uh, Rexes. This is all mammoths and uh, 
direwolves it looks like yeah because we're heading into the uh I don't know where are we heading into there's a lot of nice places on this map A lot of it I couldn't get to on a Deinonychus though, that's the problem. Uh, it all seems to be m mammals around here is probably the best way to describe it. Not a lot of reptiles and lizards around. I don't know if that was a mammoth call or a YouTube fucking scream. Right, let's head towards the other area. Need to find a swampy area. Wally Rhino. Ragnarok, the Giga spawned in the Highlands area, which looks a bit like this. And um, as far as I remember, same map creator, so... Fucking hell, it's like a null point, but for Arges. this way a bit more. And the closer we are to the snow, the less likely we are going to be to find I'll take that oil, actually. Okay. Save game. I think the less likely we are to be to find creatures like the T-Rex and the Allosaurus, the closer we get to the snow biome, because that's where they'll start to switch out with the Utes and the fucking rhinos and mammoths and shit. That's my thinking anyway. I mean, the Giga could be anywhere, to be fair. There are multiple spawn points on the island for the Giga. I'd hate to think how many there are on this. You know, the map creator might have made it easier to fucking find a Giga. Yeah, it's a major dry spell now. having much luck. Started off hot with those six aloes. Maybe we should have stayed around that area, got the aloes. 
I mean, I can always get the rest off camera. It was near our home base, so that's fine. And then I know a couple of spots where Rexes spawn. I feel like the gig is still going to be the main issue. As it always is. Because I don't think they spawn in multiples. I think they only spawn one at a time. So we'd need to find a giga, kill a giga. Wait for the giga to respawn and do it again. Which, you know, on the island I had to summon one. Why don't we... No, stop doing that. Terra bird saddle. I don't I hate terror birds. Terror birds are like one of my least favourite creatures. I'd say terror birds and um, Ichthyornis and Pegos. Pegos were f c fine when I was first started playing the game because it was an easy passive tame. But when you learn how to tame fucking T Rexes and all that shit, you know Pegos just become an annoyance. They're not cool anymore. Save the game. And Thylers as well. I mean, Thylers have their redeeming qualities if you've got one. If the Thylers on your side, fine. Great. Thylers are awesome. When Thylers are against you, they're just a pain in the ass. As we saw when I did that cave run. Right. Anything around this mountain? Except an absolute fuck ton of metal. Couple of stags. PlayStation's crying. <laughs> Is that a red drop? That's a red drop. This is quite lush. I expected more bloody... Whoa. Sorry. I expected more trees to spawn in. I 
Oh, it's quite spacious. Dinonychus. What have we got? Tits. Right, I don't want to miss that red one then. Tech Rex. Oh. Oh. Maybe a female for Grimlock. You know me, I can't resist a Rex, especially a Tech Rex. It hurts that I've got to kill seven and a half T-Rexes to get their arms. Alright, PlayStation, shut up. Right, still fighting the Bronto. Thing is, if I engage the tech, will the Bronto take that as hostile action against me? Right, give me your stuff. What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, I'll stop doing that. Send up Morella top saddle, uh, blueprints and shit. That's fine. Um, actually, you stay here. I don't have a cryopod. Jerboa. Female, it's level four. I don't think I'm gonna bother actually. I mean, Mrs. Tex could shag Grimlock, I guess. It's uh, it'd just be a fucking tame because it's a Rex. You know, that's my diversity. Oh, hello. Speaking of. If it's male, we're going for the tame. What are you? Male Rex level 7. Is that another Rex down there? Do you know what? Sorry, mate. Level 7's a bit wank. We've at least started to attack the uh, Rex arms, and that fuck. Fuck off. We don't need Sauropod Vert, so. Uh, where's. Paris, there she is. I saw another Rex, I think. Up this way. Yeah. There's a Tech Parasaur. Let's get you somewhere safe. You stay there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, good girl. Right, let me get the Spyglass first, just so I know what I'm dealing with. Okay. Rex arms. And it's starting to get late. Well, the sun will be up for a little bit longer. But I 
feel like staying here is the best option when it comes to tech. Uh, the Rexes, sorry. Is that another one? Yep. We got another one. Oh, I hate this spyglass. Whoa. That's an Allosaurus. Okay. We need Allosaurus. So... We need your brain. God, this thing's fucking powerful. Get the brain first. We'll get the berries after. You know, it's just to feed the pets. Or the family. I think that takes us up to eight aloe brains. Another aloe. Just personal love. Sorry. God, this is just so fucking. Oh, I love it. I don't need your bandana. I don't even need to know why you're carrying a bandana on you. What, nine Allosaurus brains and four Rex arms? It's going well. It is going well. There's another Allosaurus. It's a shame because that colour scheme looks pretty sweet. But I don't have the same affection for Allosaurus like Amelia does. I think Amelia likes the aloes because, you know, that's because they're smaller. Somewhat smaller than a Rex. I think she, because she's only a child, a teenager, she... Maybe the Rexes are a bit much. I don't know. She might just like the design better. As you know, as much as I love the Rex... Uh, the Allosaurus would probably be my second... In terms of um, carnivorous theropods, I mean the Carnotaurus is way down there. I'm not a fan of the Carnotaurus. I just think it looks dumb. But T-Rex, Allosaurus, uh, Car Car. What's the other one? There's loads. There's loads of theropod like carnivores that I like. I'm using the term theropod carnivore because I believe a Gallimimus would class as a theropod. Yeah, carnivorous theropods. Majungasaurus, that's a good one. What the fuck? That wasn't on the list of fucking caves. Um. Paris, what's this? Save game. I mean, there's obviously not going to be any artifacts in here, but... Is this place? Is this like just one of those safe spot fucking things <clears throat> to live in? It looks like it. It just looks like a base location because there's nothing else here. Having said that, though, unless no, I 
Oh shit, hello. Get here. Having said that, might be a good place to hunker down for the night. I'm going to bring Paris in where it's safe. You know, make a house a home and all that. Not a house, but we could make it a home. Well, let's just leave you up there. <clears throat> I don't think it's somewhere I'd set up permanently, but I think as like an outpost, or yeah, you know, like I'm out here now. And the sun's going to go down soon. It's not a bad place to maybe set up shop for the night. So, I need some light source. Let's, um... You stay there, girl. Or can you let me pass? You know what, just uh, stay down here. It's uh, da, 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 da. up here. Yep. Let's go and grab some uh, stuff for standing torches, I think. Before it gets dark. And then we can illuminate the place at least. And we've got somewhere to hunker down. I do like little hidden areas like that. I don't know why I'm getting so much flint. Right, so... I'll probably pull a Ragnarok here, if I can find it. I don't need 178, but... I've got a bit more wood just to put in there. Another Dodicarus. A sheep. Hello. All right. That's not the right thing. One there. Uh, one there. Across to this side. One there.
Okay, so the footage ran out. Um, I was just placing firewood in the uh, lights up there. Uh, placed a campfire and a bench to sit on. Um, yeah, there's not really much to report on. I'm going to um, wait until the morning, I think, because it's quarter past seven. I won't get much longer out there. And if I wait, then I'll get a chance to... Um, then they'll get a chance to respawn the creatures, Will. So, I'm just going to wait out here. Wait it out here. Overnight. Um, maybe next episode we'll carry on the search. Or I might just do a couple of little updates. Tacked on the end of this. If I make any progress. It depends how much progress I make. Because we still haven't found the Giga. Or a Sarko. Or that last Titanoboa. So I need to find a swamp area. But I think I'm going to stay in this area for the time being. And gather up the Rex arms and the Allosaurus brains that I need. Which we're currently at. Um, three. I've got three. Um, Paris has got six or seven. And then we've got four Rex arms. So we're making some progress. But, yeah. If I'm not back, then, you know, thank you for watching and see you next time. But I might be back for a quick update. But even so, thank you for watching, see you next time. Okay, so I've finished um, the Allosaurus brains, even without the spare one at home. Um, got the last two, and then realised there was two more. So I figured, you know what, I'll tame them. I don't have Allosaurus on this island, on this map even. They're attacking a pair of Dodicarus. And the uh, Dodicarus, while the aloes were tranked, were getting a few fucking cheap shots in. I found it quite amusing, but I was ready to kill them if necessary. The other two aloe corpses are over here. I'm going to see if they've got any prime meat on them. There's a raptor as well. Yeah, prime meat. Okay, cool. All right. No more luck with the T-Rexes yet, although I have looked at a video on YouTube about Giga spawn locations, and apparently there's always two in play at once. So, it's sort of like the Sith rule of two, I guess. Well, let's take the basic bitch meat out. So... And apparently once one's killed, and, um or one's tamed, then another one will spawn in immediately. So hopefully, the Giggers might actually be the easiest ones on this. Because I don't want to have to spawn any in myself. Right, I'm going to leave those taming. I'm going to check that lake, see if there's any Sarkos, or Titanoboas. I haven't seen any about. This does seem like a bit of a lush area. But I'm going to check it anyway, so, bye. Okay, so I've been checking out the Giga spawn locations. Uh, haven't found a Giga yet, but I have fulfilled my Rex quota. Uh, this one was an Alpha. I found a Tech Raptor as well, but ended up having to kill it because there was fucking too many bastards around to try and tame it. I'm going to keep looking for a Giga around here, and then if not, then we'll head to the um, snow biome. Might actually leave this running. Is this the way back? I feel like this is the way back. That's an Allosaurus. I don't need Allosaurus anymore. going on down there. Just a couple arges. Probably harvesting a corpse that I fucking left behind. Um... It's 
video I watched did say that sometimes they spawn together. In the same area, so... Are they both in the ice biome? They've got to be, because they're not at the other... The place is where they're supposed to spawn. Plenty of Rex is there. It was easy to, you know, fill my Rex quota. I've got all the Rex arms I need. See, there's two more Rexes there. Is one a high-level male? Because I still want a high-level male. Now you fight the RG, I'll fight the Rex. He's down. Paris. Which one's Paris? None of them. None of them are Paris. Dickhead's gone up there. Come on. Where's that fucking Rex? Is he down here? Yeah. I don't have any meat on me. Right, get out of this space, get out of this spot. I need to get the scorpion. He's got some meat for the Rex. And there's some more meat for the Rex. Jesus Christ. I need to get Paris back, though. Because she just decided to, like... Hang out up there, you wanker. How do I fucking get her back then? Do you give prime meat? Yes. So, Paris, you dickhead. Get your fucking bird ass back down here. <laughs> 
There we go. Not bad. Are you stupid? Why are you being like this? You were like this when we tamed the U-Tyrannus as well. Sometimes you play an absolute blinder, and then other times you just... Right. My issue now is, I don't have cryopods. But... Oh, I don't have any metal ing ingots on me. Plenty of polymer, but, you know, missing the rest of it. Now, let's uh, just get rid of some shit. Right, gonna uh, stop it here and back in a bit, maybe. Found a giga. Rage on. Oh, it was a car car. Fine. That's okay. We still get the Giga Heart from a car car. Brilliant. Nice. Paris's inventory is full. She must have got a fuck ton of prime meat from that. Yeah. Bitch! Fuck off. Right, so we need one more. Giga Heart, and then the Sarko skin, and one more Titanoboa Venom. It's 10 Sarko skin, but that shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta, like, figure out where the Sarko spawn. There's a red over here. Picked up sex as well. I went to the obel. Uh, that's the T Rex that I tamed. I called him Sex Hell Yeah. But I picked him up. I went to the obelisk, got some um, cryopods sent over. And I'll go and get the aloes after. What's in here? Sending Titan Gauntlet Blueprint. Okay. So let's head back to the um, other spawn locations. I suppose to one near the artifact of the crag. That's where I was where I um, killed the Alpha Rex. So we'll have a quick look here. Rex. Man said to uh, find the uh... that's a Rex. See a lot of Rexes. We've got to find the fucking. I mean, we need to be down here in this area.
on the lake. There's the lake. I think. Is that the lake for this bit? Come over here. It's supposed to be near the fucking loot cave as well. Or am I the wrong way? Dunno. I'm not sure right now. Pretty sure I need to be down here though. Looks like an Alpha Cano. Yeah, there's that partial trap. Apparently if you put a metal behemoth gate there, you can trap a Giga. Obviously if you lure it in there. I think that's the artifact cave that I hit last time. Yeah, and then we need to head down this way. So let's slow it down. Piss off. If there's always two Gigas, where's the other one? I mean, there should still be two. If 
Fuck off. I mean, you're not the droids I'm looking for, so just piss off. Everybody getting all up in my fucking business and shit. So there's that tunnel. The Alpha Rex Cup despawned or decomposed. Allosaurus. I think the gig is here. So let's head across to the first spot. So with that are bunch of Rexes around here, but this was where um, one of the Giga sites as well. Maybe they changed it when they brought the car for an in. Maybe they lowered the spawn rate. That's a Rex. Nothing.
Right, well, I'm going to call it there for definite on this episode. Um, we filled our Rex quota. We got all the Allosaurus brains. We've got the RG Talons back at home. We still need that one more Titanoboa Venom. We've got one Giga Heart, and we still need the Sarko skin. We're um, we're looking good. I think next episode will be the um, Guardian Sanctuary, and we'll be heading there. And I will be taking the Deinonychus. I won't be taking um, Sparta and Eva and their children. But I'm, I'll probably take Dante. And then if he dies, at least... I mean, original Dante. So then if he dies, at least we've got a clean slate. There's not the contradiction of two Dantes flying around, walking around. So, um... That's the plan. But yeah, I do need to get those last few trophies. But most of the, like, bitch-to-get ones we've got. So we just need to, um... It's just that last Giga one. The rest should be pretty simple. Anyway. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.